first look at MIUI 12 version 12.0.0.8 based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at MIUI 12 version 12.0.0.8 based on android 10 running on the xiaomi mi 90 pro do note that this build is a closed beta right now and you can only install it using a custom recovery for which you do need an unlocked bootloader also as you can see it does have the google dialer and the google messaging app baked in which means this build is for the xiaomi mi 90 pro i personally do not recommend that you install this build on the redmi k20 pro until and unless you want to try out MIUI 12. When you boot up this build for the first time, you will notice that you have a lock icon on the top signifying an unlocked bootloader. Previously, they used to have a text at the bottom of the boot logo. Next up, you do have MIUI 12 boot animation in the building. And once we have booted into MIUI 12, we can of course first go into settings and about phone. There it is, you can see that I am running the build which I'm going to talk about. If you swipe, you can see that we do have the app vault, but this is still the old one. It's not the one which you get with me UI 12 China ROM. And we can have a look at the recents. This is how the recents look like. You do have floating windows in the building and this feature works absolutely fine. Now they have added the me UI 12 animations and in the me UI 12 global presentation, they said that these animations are world class however these world class ios cloned animations can be a bit sluggish but as you know this currently is a closed beta build so there's not much point in criticizing xiaomi right now other than that you do have the new ui so if i go into about phone you can see that once i go into storage i do have this new ui baked in and of course you do have the animated icons which they talked about in the mi ui 12 global announcement as well and talking about MIUI 12 global announcement, I have a separate video which shows you 15 features of MIUI 12 which they announced at the global event of MIUI 12 and I do recommend that you watch that video. You can find that video in the pinned comment and also in the description of this video. Next up, we can go into settings and nothing much to talk about in the first few options. For starters, we'll go into connection and sharing and then if you go into cast, so you do have the new feature which they talked about of universal casting and it does allow you to hide your private items as well on the device where you are casting me personally i do not have a device where i can check this but they have added this new universal casting feature moving over to always on display and lock screen you do not have the option of aod theming right now however if you scroll down and you go into lock screen clock format you will find that you do have a new fourth option of lock screen clock format and this is how it looks like then we can go into display and in brightness level you do not have the option of sunlight mode and again if you go into color scheme or if you go into anti flicker mode you still have the old ui from miui 11 in dark mode you do have dark mode 2.0 along with setting dark mode for individual applications as well which are your third party apps and you can also adjust the contrast automatically based on your brightness and that feature works absolutely fine scrolling down system font i am not sure why it is taking me to the theme store oh hold on i have to go into my font and yes the default font out of the box on this build is roboto you can always customize your text size as well you still don't have dynamic fonts and let me increase the text size a little there it is if you go into status bar these are the different options you get and of course you can disable the new miui 12 control center which is baked into this build so if you swipe from the right you can access the control center if you swipe down from the left you can access your notifications in the control center you again do have the animated icons something which they talked about in the miui 12 global presentation and it works absolutely fine of course if you disable control center you don't want that ios look you will get back your old notification center next up in status bar they have added a new graphical battery indicator or a battery bar which you can see on the top and as you can see it works absolutely 
fine moving over to sound and vibration these are the different options you get in sound and vibration sound assistant option which lets you configure different sound levels for different applications did not make its way to this build going into notifications again the same old ui which you got in miui 11 nothing new over here as well and then you can go into wallpaper so those of you who are looking for super live wallpapers for starters you again have the old ui in the wallpapers application and if you go into my page again the old ui and to access your super live wallpapers you'll go into wallpapers super wallpapers and bam here it is the super cool super live wallpapers from me ui 12 and yes they do work absolutely fine next up we have themes so you still have the old themes application the one which is in china rom did not make its way the one which has the new ui on the top where you can customize your aod you can download dynamic wallpapers you can download icons and fonts that application did not make its way to this build as well then in password and security you do have your face unlock and fingerprint working absolutely fine moving over to privacy protection this is where xiaomi made some changes in the china rom but those changes again half of them made its way over here half of them did not so you do have the option of permission notifications wherein you can receive an alert in the status bar when apps access your location record audio or take pictures you can of course turn it on what is missing over here is the permission log which you find in china roms wherein you have a whole page and you can see what application accessed what permission that feature is missing in this build right now moving over to battery and performance yes you do have the new ui ultra battery saver mode is baked into this build if you go into battery usage stats you have two different options either you can view it like this or tap over here and you have a new graphical way and of course if you tap it you can also change the duration to an hourly basis and see what application was using maximum battery during that duration going into additional settings and then full screen display we do have the option of hiding the full screen indicator at the bottom if you want to hide it and another feature which i found is that if you swipe from either edge it is going to activate google assistant of course you do not have google assistant 2.0 because that i think is a feature which is exclusive to the pixel devices scrolling down you do have digital well-being and parental controls yes this is the build for me 90 pro so you do not have your screen time and xiaomi's implementation of digital well-being you have google implementation of digital well-being which is baked in going into special features you do have game turbo present over here and then you also have video toolbox something which lets you take a screenshot and you know record your screen cast it this is what video toolbox is all about they haven't added the feature which was present in the latest china build wherein you could change your display to say black and white using the video toolbox that feature again is missing going back into special features we already talked about floating windows being present and in case you want to have a look at how floating windows work and learn them you do have the option for that as well you also have front camera effects second space and light mode so that was it about all the new features now moving over to applications nothing much to talk about over here as well the file manager application it is still the old one the security application still the old one you do not even get the new animation and the utilities tab which you get in me ui 12 china builds we can also try out the clock application that is also the old one the one which comes with china builds has text on top instead of these icons and then moving over to the camera application again you get the old camera application you do not get the miui 12 camera application which allows you to change the themes and then your clone mode is also missing so old camera application moving over to the gallery application now in gallery if you take a picture of the sky and then you go into sky mode you do have the option of dynamic sky effects and of course you have to be connected to the internet and make sure you download these filters tap on it and you can add different effects this feature as you can see working like a boss however what is missing is your video editor which they added in the miui 12 china build that is again missing from here and if you open the weather application yes that is new you have the updated weather application and last but not the least if you go into the calendar application you do have the new cards ui which they talked about in the miui 12 
global presentation and there it is you can see the new card look other than that if you go back into the gallery application and you try to share a picture you do have the option of sharing it without sharing your metadata and location data from the picture and you can do the same for videos as well and if we open the open gl extension viewer application right now i don't know why it is crashing there it is you can see that the drivers are still from 9 10 19 so open gl and vulcan drivers have not been updated as for the benchmark scores here are the benchmark scores which you get on this build and all in all i would like to say that you know it's the first beta of miui 12 for the xiaomi mi 90 pro they have added some features but if you compare it with the china roms the feature set is very minimal but the features which they mentioned at the global event most of them have made their way to this miui 12 build of 12.0.0.8 running on the xiaomi mi 90 pro and there it is peeps that was our first look at the build and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you